Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum, my dear students. How are you? I hope you are enjoying the best of health. I welcome you in my class. That is English for Grade One. We are learning Unit Eleven. Its title is Stormy Weather. My dear fellow teachers, this lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation, and worksheet links are given. You may click it, download it, follow it as it is, or modify it for your convenience. I'm going to deliver my lecture according to this lesson plan. Yes, my dear children. Today we are going to read and understand the poem. And uh, before this, I have taught you how to recite a poem with actions. I hope you remember. If not, you may watch this video lecture again. And we are going to repeat this practice to recite poems or nursery rhymes with actions. This is our today's SLO. Let's start with the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah mentions in Quran, Surah An-Nahl, verse 65. And Allah has sent down rain from the sky and given life thereby to the earth after its lifelessness. Indeed, is in that is a sign for a people who listen. Yes, my dear children, what this beautiful verse is telling us. Better this verse is telling us that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent down rain. And this rain brings life to earth. And how does it bring life? Like the plants grow and people take water and it keeps our water cycle. And in many ways, this rain is beneficial. So whenever it's raining, we should say thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we should enjoy the rain as well, right? So, how do um, we can? How can we enjoy the rain? This is how what we are going to learn in our today's lecture. So, here is the poem. First, the uh, poet has described what does he do when it's raining. So, we are going to recite this poem with action. We'll enjoy the poem. Then we'll understand what the poem is all about. So, all of you place everything on your table. Be ready with me to recite this poem with actions. Okay. So, are you ready? Okay. When I hear Peter Pat against my window pane, I don't frown or mope about for I just love the rain. I rush to put my rain boots on. My spirit start to soar. I grab my red umbrella and go running out the door. I find a big great puddle and I jump in with a splatter. It's muddy and it's very wet to me. It does not matter. Wow. You see, this is how the poet enjoy the rain. So, better now you pause the video, enjoy this poem, reciting with actions and then come back. Yes, my dear children, now you're done with it. Good job. I can see you're excited. Now, all of you sit down on your seats because we are going to understand what this poem is. All right. First, you tell me, do you like to play in the rain? And do you make paper boards when it rains? Pause the video, answer these questions to your teacher, and then come back. Yes, my dear children, do you enjoy the rain? Yes, I know, children love it. So, beta, I have taught you in our introduction lesson, whenever it, it's raining, you can enjoy it, but keep the safety rules in your mind okay all right so let's see what the poet is saying when i hear a peter pat and what is peter pat it is a continuous sound especially when it's raining how how does it sound tip 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 or tuck 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 such type of sounds are known as peter pat so when it rains and i hear this sound against my window pane and why this sound come because the rain is falling on my window pane window pane means the glass which is fixed in your window so when rain falls on that there is a continuous sound of peter pat i do not frown and what does frown mean to be angry 
I don't angry. I don't feel angry. I don't make faces. I don't give expression of dislike or mop about or nor I start cleaning the rain. Okay, mop means to clean something. So usually when it's raining, people, the adults one, they take the mop and they start cleaning. But the poet is saying, I don't do that. Why? For I just love the rain. So instead of cleaning and Prawning, I'm happy because I like rain. I love the rain. This is what poet is telling us. I rush to put my rain boots on. So what does he do first? He rush, he go by running and put the rain boots long. You know, rain boots, long boots, which are waterproof. Like this, this girl is wearing, this child is wearing these shoes. My spirits start to soar. My spirits mean what is spirit? Inner self. And so I mean fly high. So what the poet is saying, like my inner self is very happy. I'm very excited. I feel like I'm flying. I grab my red umbrella. And what does grab mean? To suddenly, roughly take, like you go and just take your umbrella and go running out the door. So the poet has red umbrella like this kid has. And you can see his rain boot as well. Okay. So he wears rain coat, rain boot, takes umbrella. And what does he do? He goes running out the door. I find a great big puddle. What is puddle? A water. A, when water is gathered in, in a hole in on ground, that is called a puddle. You can see in this picture, the puddle is there, okay? So whenever I find a puddle and I jump in with a splatter, the way this child is doing, uh, jump and the splash of water is there. So children love doing this. Do you do that? So better be careful whenever you do such type of things, okay? So this is what poet is saying. I do jump in with splatter. It's muddy. And what does muddy mean? Water which is uh, carrying soil, mud, it's muddy, which is not clean water. And it's very wet, definitely it's water, so it's very wet. To me, it does not matter. The way this child is doing splatter, like splash with the water, though it's muddy, though it's wet. But when you are enjoying the rain, it does not matter because your focus is enjoying the rain. Right, so this is how poet has it described, how the poet enjoy rain. So this is all about this poem. Now we are going to do activity. Before that, you tell me which weather is your favorite weather. So all together there are four, it's spring, then summer comes, falls come and winter. So which one is your favorite? Pause the video, answer this question to your teacher and then come back. Yes, my dear children, I hope you have answered it. All the weathers are good, alhamdulillah, beta, because Allah has created every weather for a reason. Now you tell me, I mean, let's move on. And I have explained the uh, poem to you and we have practiced reciting the poem with action. Now it's your turn. You will pause the video and recite this poem with actions and teach you kindly let the students enjoy whatever they want to do. Let them do and make every child to participate in this activity. Pause the video, enjoy reciting this poem with action and then come back. Yes, my dear children, are you done with it? Good job. It's time for comprehension. Now we have understood the poem. Here are the questions from poem. First, you will tell the answers of these questions orally. Then you will write the answers in your notebook. So pause the video, complete this comprehension and then come back. Yes, my dear children, are you done with it? Good job, you are smart. It's time for your homework. Here are words. You are going to use these words in your sentences and you will write these sentences in your notebook. And I'm giving you a project. All the details are given in the book. You will Fold a large piece of construction paper in half to make a book cover. You will staple a stick of plain sheets into in the middle. 
You may use Caesar in the supervision of your elders to cut out clouds, sun, raindrops and glue on the cover, draw snow and fog, whatever you want to do and then glue label as illustrated on the cover. This is a sample given to you. So, you will follow that and you will complete this project by this weekend. On coming Monday, you will bring this project in your class. All right. And here is a worksheet, my dear fellow teachers, this worksheet, lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation, links are given. You may click it, download it and kindly provide a printed worksheet to students for practice. And my dear children, what you are going to do, again, it's a beautiful poem. You are going to read and recite this poem with actions. So what we have learned today, we learn to recite poem or nursery rhyme with actions. Are we done with it? Yes. So that's it for today. Tomorrow I'll come again with a very interesting lesson. Till that time, keep learning and take very good care of yourself. Thank you and Allah Hafiz.